What is the worth of a man? Scientists now tell us that the size of the Earth in comparison to the Sun is about 300,000 times. And NASA puts this picture to it. If you take a little paper clip, the radius of that paper clip, and you look at a table, the paper clip, the radius of the paper clip would be the size of the Earth, the radius of the table would be the size of the Sun. That is how small we are in comparison to the Sun. And our Sun is, interestingly enough, actually called according to NASA a dwarf. It is one of the smallest stars that they have out there. And when you look at the biggest stars that they have, they would say that the Sun is actually 2,000 times smaller than the biggest star that they have. Now you look at that and it begs the question, what is the worth of humanity? And even further, looking at the billions of people around the world, what is the worth of a single human being? And yet the Bible tells us that we are priceless treasure. Hi, I'm Uetla Simankane for Advent Seed. We look at Matthew chapter 13, and there Jesus talks about a man who goes out looking for a pearl of great price. Jesus says this man finds a pearl of great price and then he goes out and sells everything that he has in order that he can buy this pearl of great price. Interesting story. When you look at a purchase, there are two things that happen. One of the things that happens, first of all, is a mental evaluation. This evaluation is a determination of the worth of an item in comparison to the price tag that is put. Is it worth the value attached to it? So you go out into a shop and you look for an item you want to buy. You find a shirt and you look at that shirt, you check its quality and you check the price tag next to it. If the price tag is very high, you will say, this is not worth the money that is asked for this item. And you will either say that this thing is too much, you put it back, or you say this is a bargain. And then you grab that thing happily and you pay the price. And then when you pay that price, you get out rejoicing, and this is exactly what the Bible speaks about. And what Jesus was referring to here is that God looked and searched for a pearl of great price. My friend, that pearl of great price is you and me. When I look at myself, I begin to wonder what is the worth, as David said. What is man that you are mindful of him? But when God looks at you, when God looks at me, he sees a pearl of great price. And the Bible says he is willing to sell everything. And he also makes that evaluation, the mental evaluation as he was heading to the cross to say, is this young man, is this young woman worth the price? What was the price? The price was the very blood of Jesus Christ. Leviticus 17, 11 says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And so when Jesus gave his blood, he was actually giving his very own life. Your price was the very life of God. My friend, consider that for a moment. You are precious. You are not a cheap item. It means this must now transform every single aspect of your life. Carry yourself like a precious item. Make decisions like you know you are important. I heard a preacher say, If I look at myself through my own eyes, I wonder, can I be saved? But when I look at myself through the eyes of Jesus, I ask a different question. Can I be lost? You are very important in the eyes of God. Carry yourself as a precious item. This is our devotion for today. God bless you.